is almost the same thing as like a OnePlus 8 Pro to be honest, but it's in a smaller form factor, which is something some people may like. I do like the way this phone performs. You know, it's a very, very good performing phone. And from going from a OnePlus 8T to a OnePlus 9 or 9 Pro, there really wasn't that big of a difference as I saw. They were essentially almost the same exact thing. Now, obviously the 9 and 9 Pro are going to be faster, but this is still like a very fast phone. I really don't think if you're planning on buying this phone or something, it's not like you're going to be complaining about the you know performance and i think that is the biggest asset when you're buying a phone like this as i mentioned you don't want to buy a phone and already feel like it's outdated you are not going to be getting that type of vibe from this phone and again when you get a phone you don't want it to be outdated now obviously if you have all the money in the world and if you care about it you know getting every single type of performing thing from a device then getting something like a samsung galaxy s21 or getting something like a you know one plus nine those are going to get you better performance at the end of the day than something like this but I don't know, I would still say get the OnePlus 8T, it's still a very good performing phone, and if you gave me this phone and if you gave me a OnePlus you know, 9, I really don't think I'd be able to tell that big of a difference to be completely honest, so that essentially covers it up in a performance standpoint.